What's going on, YouTube? Trucking life here. One more time. Hey guys, today's video is gonna be about uh my first time, my first time ever, 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 ever going into the rail yards, guys. To deal with this stuff, right here. But anyway, like I was saying, guys, my very first time coming to the rail yards, man. How did how? How was my first experience dealing with this stuff right here? Let me tell you, man. My first experience, cause like I say, I didn't have, I didn't have no YouTube guys to go to to find out about this. I didn't have that. You know what I'm saying? If it was out there, I didn't know nothing about it. And uh, I just jumped in here first. I was supposed to roll with a trainer when I first got into it. Cause it was my first time ever doing rails, and I had my own truck. Me and a trainer, me and a, me and a driver trainer schedule didn't work out too good. He, like, he kept pushing it off, pushing it off, pushing it off. And I was like, well, it wasn't a driver trainer, but it was another driver for the driveway. But our schedules, they just wasn't uh, matching up, you know. And like I said, I already, I already had to uh, quit my job and I already got the truck, you know. And so no truck payments started rolling in. I can't, ain't got time to be sitting around waiting no two or three weeks, you know what I'm talking about? So he was like, man, he was like, man, just go for it. I said, okay. So I did, I went for it, man. I hopped out there, and uh, I hopped out there, guys. I'm telling you, man, my first experience in the rail yard, I went to the terminal, or the company I was with at the time. I said, hey, I'm here to work. You know, of course you did all, you did all the uh, orientation and all that stuff. I already did all that stuff. I had passed all that. It was time for me to go, go, you know, go out to, with, the, with, the, with the ride with the driver, you know what I'm saying? It was time for me to go out to ride with the driver, but you know, our schedules, like I said before. But anyway, so I go to work and I like, look, man, I can't, I can't reach this guy. We, our schedule's mixing. You know, I'm ready to work. Said, okay. They ain't even say. They gave me a load. They said, hey, go pick up this empty. No, go pick up this load out the rail yard, right? Now you would think that. Now you would think that because they know I'm new and fresh to this that they'll take it easy on me, right? The first day. No, no. They ain't tell me about registering. They ain't tell me about the scat code. They gave me a little, the, all, you know they give you an envelope with all the stuff in it, you gotta look through it to see what's what. I did that, but no cigar, man. I ain't know what I was looking at. So I hopped out there, I went to the rail, and then you know on the rail, on the, on the order, sometimes they give you the front door address. You know how you, know how you, you um, you're about to go to a, a company for a delivery or pickup, and the work order got the address, the front door address, not the dock address, you know what I'm talking about? So anyway, the rail, they had the front door rail address on there. The, the real address. Which I guess is okay, but not for a new guy. Anyway, I went to the address. I'm Bob telling luckily, because I have a box. I see cars, employee cars still parked. I said, man, I think I'm in the wrong place, man. I seen the rail yard name, but I'm like, I seen the rail yard name, guys, but I'm like, I'm in the wrong place. So anyway, you know, I ain't up finding the entrance, right? So I go to the kiosk, and you know, now imagine guys, nobody told me nothing, man. They don't tell you this stuff, guys. They just, they just, uh, gonna be coming down here to 14, man. So I gotta go, buddy. I pointed to him, he got a mask on. I don't think he'll turn around, though. Nah, he rolling, man. He ain't stopping. I'm at 12, I gotta go to 14, man. Oh, he's, he turn around. Nope, nope. He steady riding. He steady riding, man. But there's a crane dude coming behind me, so hopefully he followed me on over to 14. You know what I'm talking about? You see J, you see J12 right there, right? Ah oh, man, ain't about that. Anyway, I'm, I'm back. I'm back, guys. So like I was saying, I didn't know no Scott code, no no driver registration. I ain't know none of that. So I go to the, I finally found my way into the rail, right? I start following other trucks in the rail yard entry for drivers, and uh, here we go. Hold on, guys. I gotta find my box real quick. Uh, let me see, what is it? CMAU. Is that it right there? 643-333? Is that it? Yeah, that's it right there, guys. Now, you can probably reach behind it and get it. It's that blue one right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to turn around because the crane dude coming behind me. Actually, I'm going to bag up. I'm going to bag up right up in there and turn around. Well, that's the plan. I don't know how it's going to work. So, anyway. You know what? Man, I ain't... I'm gonna try to turn around right here, guys. Might not work. 
crane dude coming too, man. Anyway, look. The crane dudes are coming, guys, and I'm blocking them up, guys. <laughs> he can't get he can't get past if he wanted to. I'm blocking up the whole thing. You know, I'm blocking up the whole you dig, man. You know what I'm talking about? Trying to make a U-turn. <laughs> this is so crazy, man. Ah, oh, man. Now when I'm turning, guys, I'm watching my uh, my I'm watching my fairing too back there, so I'll tear it up. Sweet guys, he grabbing it good, man. Cause other crane dude kept riding, man. This dude rode up right on time, guys. Man, that's what I'm talking about. We go reach behind there, grab it. But anyway, it ain't about that, guys. But like I was saying, guys, my first time in the real yard, I didn't know about registration. I didn't know about none of that stuff, guys. And uh, when I went in there, I got to the kiosk. Man, I went, I went through the ringers, man. They're like, driver, you know, you sit at the kiosk long enough, you gotta pick up that phone. Hey, like, driver, how you registered? I'm like, what's that? They're like. Come to the office. I'm like, where is it at? He said, find it. I said, okay. So I go in, right? And I, I'm asking drivers. I'm all over the place, man. I'm all over the yard trying to find an office, right? And I'm like, man, where is this office at? You know, I'm like, I, I, start, I start flagging down. Hey, guys. Remember I told you about hounding people? Remember I told you guys about hounding people? That's where the hounding concept came from, guys. I start hounding everybody. I say, hey, man, what office? I don't know. What office? I don't know. Go over there. Okay, I go over there. It ain't over there. I said, the office ain't over there. That guy gone. So I finally found an office, right? I go in, like, hey, uh, they told me to come to the office. Mind you, when I went in, there was a long line, too, guys. It wasn't like it was a short line. I had to wait in line, like everybody else. I get up to the window, like, hey, what, what's going on? I'm like, hey, they said I got to register. They're okay, you got your license, blah, 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 woo, woo. So I had to do all that, right? I said, okay, uh, that's it? He said, yeah, that's it. So I left at the office. I ain't asking about the location or the box I had to get or nothing, guys. I was trying to just get out of there, man. And so I go, out to, go back to my truck and, uh, I was like, man, I was like, well, okay, what is box at? You know, because I ain't know, know how to look nothing up at that time, guys. And, uh, oh, there we go. There we go. And so, and so, man, it, it was a mess, guys, pretty much. Long story short, man, my first day. Actually, my first day was really horrible, man. I went home that night, guys, after that first day, man. I ain't lying, man. I felt like I was like, man, I went home, had a long conversation with myself on the couch. I was sitting on the couch like, I was, I was talking to myself like, man, should I do this? I was like, this is, I was like, it was, you know, it was a lot more to the story, guys. I don't want to make this video too long. But pretty much the first day, man, I got nothing accomplished, guys. I didn't even move that log. I couldn't even find it. And, and what's crazy is, and what's crazy is the first day I did my move, it was one of them days where the box I was supposed to get wasn't in the real yard. Could you imagine that, guys? You new to this. You don't know where the box is. You don't even know how to find it. And the first day you get there, the box they give you, somebody took it out already. It ain't even in there. So I'm running around the rear yard for hours, 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 hours. I thought, I was like, man, I'm like, I'm like, I don't think this box in here, man. And I'm talking to this brother. That's in there, shows in there. So I ain't know how to go to the office and ask for the location to put a trace on the box. I ain't know how to do that then. Or look in the app and see if it's even in the yard. They ain't have an app there either, guys. So, well, I can do that, you know, but anyway. So what I did was, guys, the first day was absolutely horrible, man. Horrible. And then the second day, when I actually pulled the trailer, it made so much noise, I thought it was gonna break down on me, man. I was like, man, this thing, it's just too much noise. Especially when they empty, they make a lot of noise. You know, because you got the box bouncing on top of the chassis. Like, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, man, is this thing gonna fall off the chassis or what? And I ain't gonna tell you guys about the first box I pulled. I didn't lock no pins, guys. I didn't even know about locking pins. I just rolled out. Hopefully, the thing didn't fall off the chassis. Anyway, so yeah, YouTube, my first time doing rails was horrible. My first day in the real yard was horrible. And I ain't gonna lie, what made me stick to it was I was committed to a truck. I already got the truck. <laughs> I got the truck, so I said, I gotta make this happen, man. Besides, so you'd be surprised what you could do when you're back against the wall. But anyway, like I say, man, uh, I just, anytime you're doing stuff like, anytime you're doing stuff for the first time, guys, it's gonna be rough. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be hard until you learn it. But if you stick with it, It'll get a little better. It'll get easier. I ain't gonna get easy, but it get easier. You know what I'm talking about? So anyway, yeah, YouTube. My first time in the real yards was horrible. It sucked, it sucked, it sucked to the 10th power. But anyway, look at your boy now.
The day is still suck at times, but hey, I can take I got thicker skin now. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I YouTube. Hope this video is helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going around here. Yeah? I'll see you guys in the video. Peace.